before a couple of times, but it, it is scary because when I go forward, you know, my head goes into the water, and if I can't turn over, then I'm going to drown. So I needed a lot of help, and that's what they're trying to teach me is how to turn over so I can be safe in the water. But we're going to try to spend a little time with each one of you really quick to kind of give you some pointers. You know, we talked a little bit about, you know, the difference between, you know, swimming in the pool, swimming in, in the open water. And then um, uh, between Ronnie and I, we'll give you a little some insights on, on what it is to be able to swim with a disability. For double amputees, and they have to create balance and uh, turn with their hips and know that they can turn with their hips and not use their legs to do the rotation. With uh, paraplegics, it's a little more difficult. Uh, they you know, pretty much don't have control of their hips, so actually Carlos Melita has come up with some leg braces that, but these braces go on the back of the knee, which straightens the legs out. Uh, we also throw a wetsuit on them that's very thick, five millimeters, that helps float the legs. So between the braces and the flotation, the legs will be straight and floating behind them and not getting tangled, and this makes a huge difference in them being able to swim. I'm very excited, I love swimming. And normally I don't have anything to make my legs float, so this suit ought to help a little bit. Swimming is something that requires so much balance in the water for you to be able to really see how your body have, works underwater. And, and our disabilities are so different that it's not like one size fits all kind of thing. So in a way, you're going to have to find your own way of swimming, you know, the best way that works for you. There we go. Yes. I did this a lot whenever I started swimming, is you stay really stiff in the water. And you don't let your body do what it wants to do. And when you're swimming, it's really important to get your hips into the motion. Backstroke, relax your stomach, all right? There we go, arch, yes. I want you to be able to get in the water, and find your flotation, find your, you know, your, your, your balance, and then flip on your, your face, and then be able to come back up in case of need. So you're never in trouble. If something right. happens, you just get back in your stomach, you're fine. So that's the key, really, being dependent. I feel safe now. I didn't feel safe at all before. I felt like I would have drowned. And so I feel safe now and comfortable and I can actually swim, which is remarkable, amazing. I mean, I really didn't think that this was possible. A lot of this, you know, says no barriers and I felt like a lot of these activities were still off limits to me. But, you know, I'm slowly like learning that I can't do this. Amen. Yeah. So, what the festival is about is to teach people these things. Okay, one, two, three. Nice. Hey! <laughs>